Hey Taylor Army, welcome back to another episode of All Things Taylor. Thank you so much for supporting pretty much everything that I am doing right now, from the book that I'm writing to the blogs that I keep publishing, everything on my social media, this YouTube channel, and now my podcast, Talks with Taylor Hendricks, which aired yesterday on Russo'sBrand.com, featuring a dear friend of mine and inspiration, former TNA knockout, Nikki Rocks. I also have a new podcast that I'm going to be starting called The Times with Taylor Hendricks, where we're going to be talking about all kinds of really fun stuff. <laughs> So I had actually taped another podcast today, episode two of Talks with Taylor Hendricks. Unfortunately, I am not tech savvy and something happened to the whole interview and it's not here. <laughs> so <clears throat> I decided to tell you guys a little bit about the interview and who my guest is. And then I will have to re-record the interview with her as soon as she is available and get that posted. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. I have known this girl since I was in seventh grade. She is absolutely hands down one of the most amazing people I've ever met because she is down to earth. She is very accepting. She's very talented and passionate and she's just real. <laughs> so um, for anybody who has been on my channel long enough, I uh, that I did some episodes on all things Taylor called my pro wrestling experience. And I did part one, part two, so forth and so on my WWE tryout. Well, in, um, in growing up haunted, as well as I think my pro wrestling experience part one, I want to say <laughs> I mentioned a girl named Sam. So, without further ado, I'm going to introduce to you guys with some fun facts about my next guest for episode two of Talks with Taylor Hendricks. Um, my guest is going to be Samantha Johnson Carter. I have known her since I was in seventh grade, and she is like my sister from another mister. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> I didn't have a lot of friends growing up and I was very much, um, I guess you would describe me as a floater because I have the type of personality where I'm interested in so many different things. I'm a very diverse sort of individual. Um, and with the way I grew up, I didn't really have a lot of <clears throat> friends. Like I made friends easily, but you know, I, I don't know. I just didn't really keep them because keep a lot of friends because I had so many different interests where, you know, people go their separate ways. But Samantha, uh, she was one of those people that I instantly gravitated towards her, especially when we both found out like, hey, you like wrestling? Uh, I love wrestling. Did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> and that for me is Samantha Johnson Carter. Um, I am very proud of the woman that she is. She is amazingly talented. She has done so many great things. If you have been on my Twitter for several years, a couple of years ago, you may have uh, saw me mention, hey, vote for my friend on America's Got Talent. That was Samantha Johnson Carter. Um, Samantha is an amazing <coughs> singer, actress, comedian, songwriter. Um, she She's a Jill of all trades, essentially. She has an album out on iTunes called, I believe, 27 Underground. Uh, she was a semi-finalist on America's Got Talent. She has performed all over the world for uh, Thriller Live, including Australia, Scandinavia, Germany, and London, many, many more. She moved from Massachusetts to Las Vegas, which is something I can relate to with moving all over the place with wrestling. <laughs> and she's done a lot of great things where you can actually see her performing at Vegas the show. So there are so many things that we're going to be talking about in this interview, and there's so many things that she remembers that I don't. Uh, I've been hitting the head way too much with wrestling, so you guys are going to be getting some really cool stories about Taylor Hendricks before she became Taylor Hendricks, like stories about us, you know, <laughs> practicing uh, what our entrances would look like going through the ropes. <laughs> Things like uh, our wrestling notebooks where uh, we would argue about who was, you know, the best wrestler and what was the best program at that time, Raw or SmackDown, and all these different things. And we would get in trouble in like social studies class and stuff because we would just be writing like vigorously in our notebooks about, you know, different episodes of Raw and SmackDown and then all these other fun memories. So you'll be getting a lot of that and what it was like to be on America's Got Talent, what it's like to, um, she became a mom to a two-year-old. She has a beautiful little daughter daughter she got married um different you know different life challenges that you know most of us aren't necessarily prepared for and all kinds of like, really cool stuff about you know where we grew up in Massachusetts and what it was like being girls that actually loved wrestling when wrestling at that time was not cool anymore for a while and you know how we kind of gravitated to each other with that and what it was like becoming a musician which is something that she's always wanted to do and we're going to talk a lot about defining your own success and happiness and what it means to us as real people to kind of give back to not just our community but other people to help them feel like they can do this too.
So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am to meet Samantha Johnson Carter and just to hear all about her and all about our fun times together growing up as young girls in Massachusetts and becoming the women that we became today in our separate industries, but still holding true to the, the person that we are, the kids that we were who made way for the adults that we became and the, the adults that we want to be someday when we finish growing up. <laughs> So thank you so much for all your love and support. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Again, I love everything about doing this podcast. I'm so I'm so excited and I'm very happy that I decided to do this and then also doing another podcast too called The Times. I really just want to bring back <coughs> kindness and forgiveness and humanity back to our culture and kind of, you know, help that disconnect that happens with social media and kind of, you know, make that more of a positive connection instead of a negative disconnect. And that means the world to me. So I hope you guys really enjoy. Um, as far as the people that keep asking when my next upcoming appearances are, uh, my next wrestling match is scheduled for MPWL versus Lucha Patron in Petal not Petaluma, actually, in Santa Rosa, California, on April 18th. I'm very excited because every ticket that's purchased for the show, whether the people can come or not, whether they even live in that state or not, it will provide 10 meals to families in need and it makes me feel like me putting my body on the line in the ring it means that much more you know what I mean because I'm helping make a difference for people that are hungry <clears throat> and to me that's something that you know is near and dear to my heart I'm helping give back to animal shelters and St. Jude's hospitals and fighting to end hunger so April 18th you can see me wrestle live in Santa Rosa California for MPWL versus Lucha Patron if you can't make it feel free to buy a ticket at mpwleague.com slash tickets and they'll actually donate your ticket or tickets to um, people in the community uh, so I think that that's really cool and I feel blessed to be a part of so that will be my next upcoming appearance and every Tuesday on russosbrand.com you'll get a new podcast um, episode from me of Talks with Taylor Hendricks. And I will also let you guys know when uh, I start up the times with Taylor Hendricks. So until then, here's a little tidbit. And thank you so much for all the love and support. You guys seriously, to me, in my opinion, are the best fans in the world. Like I'm so excited about life and 2020 is definitely our year. I'm just super stoked about everything and all the projects I have going on. Finishing my book, uh, the Boston Chronicle mentioned uh, a movie that I'm going to be in real soon. So many great things that I've been sitting on that I cannot, I, I've been like, oh God, I can't wait to tell the Taylor Army about it. So now I get to finally do that. You know, 2020 has been so amazing so far. Uh, more content for my YouTube channel, upcoming matches of mine for wrestling and uh, finishing a book that I've been working on since I was in high school with Samantha Johnson Carter and so much more. So thank you so much. I promise I'm not letting you guys down. I am super stoked. I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much.